Charge up your game with excitement. Highest odds on the market. Coverage of all live and pre-match events. Place your bets with Solid Bookmaker and win with your favorite teams. Take what's rightfully yours with GG.bet. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the EU Minor Close Qualifier. My name is Hawker and we are not wasting any time right into the pistol round. Push will come in towards A from Heroic who are starting on the T side and Borup beats them down. Three kills from him. Behind the smoke he just shuts them out entirely. Tricked win the pistol round in a matter of seconds. And that is a very nice start for this tricked team who come into this one as underdogs in this Danish derby. I say Danish derby. Freiburg is from Sweden, but he's played on Heroic for so long that in my brain, I almost count him as a Dane at this point. So heading into this one, we start on Mirage, the map pick of Heroic. Definitely a map that has been pretty good for Heroic in the past few months. Understand why they have picked this one. In the second round, the Force Buy has come through, but not too much going their way so far. Freiburg eventually finds the headshot. No follow-up frag, though. Hunden forces out the trade, as Heroic will have to come back from a man disadvantage. B bomb site does currently look like the weakness of this tricked hold. There's only the UMP of Bubski here to stop any potential B aggression. Maybe that gives Heroic an opportunity into this round as Bubski jumps forwards. Playing a dangerous game, the Molotov and Nade are so good. Excellent utility usage. Grants him one free frag. The UMP comes in for another. And Stavin has got so much work to do. First, he's got to get that bomb back, which he has done safely. Hunden should hear these steps so he can communicate over to his team that there's a chance Stavin has repositioned. But the young gun will stick around towards the B bomb site with 27 seconds left. He's pretty much committed to B at this point, just trying to see if there's any chance for him to find a free frag in on the entry, and that will not be happening. Borup closes out the round. Tricked take a nice 2-0 lead, and they shouldn't have too many difficulties in this third round either. So just talking about this tricked side quickly, I think most of you guys will know about Heroic. But the cool thing for Tricked is that they brought Hunden back into the lineup in January and he's slowly but surely been helping to shift around these players to eventually settle on this lineup who have started to really cause some good results in some of these online tournaments. First, he brought in Acor as he joined himself back in January. Then in February, Shush joins the lineup to be a bit more of a supportive element for this team. And then finally, I think the big addition for Tricked, which really pushed them over the edge, was when they brought in Bubski back in April. He has been an unreal player in some of these online cups. He has been really, really good to watch. He's had so many massive games. So if Bubski can keep up that kind of performance here against Heroic, that could give Tricked some chance at trying to cause this upset. Nice shot from Acor. There is a man up close, but Acor eventually traded. Nice shots from Blame F. The in-game leader showing his skill on this heroic side. Still got a lot of players left to deal with though long spray down from shush will secure the trade onto blame f and even though Esetag has a famas in his hands he has got to find three opponents luckily though the b bomb site is actually open 
Heroic might be able to get this bomb planted here, and even that would be a big win. Borup has rotated over, though. He's here just in time. Esetag tries to plant the bomb. Borup, not quite quick enough. So the bomb plant is secured for Heroic. That will be an extra $800 across the board. And that makes sure that Heroic will have a perfect buy for this third round. And you have to remember, this is not only Heroic's map pick, but it's also a map that Heroic actually win most of their rounds on the T side. It's, it's very close between the two but they've won 52% of their rounds in the last three months on this T side of Mirage. So now that they've got the gun round together, I'm sure Heroic will be feeling good about their chances to come right back into this one. Flame F goes straight into that Molotov. Nade about to land towards him. He's down to half health from the Nade and Molly combo. He comes through and one shot to the head is all Borup needed due to that early damage. Blame F will be dealt with and the mid control not coming through as easily as Heroic may have hoped. Tricked makes sure to fight for this mid control and... Heroic don't have too many players left to contend here. You can see Stavin is just alone in underpass, not really able to fully control this position. With the early man advantage though, Tricked are pretty happy to play it safe. They don't need to take any risks. With 45 seconds left on the clock, they will just hold in a default setup. Borup in on the B site to assist Bubski, who is that B anchor. And now that Heroic have got that mid control safely, they will look to split in towards B, but it's two of the star players in position, and Acor assists over from A. Look at this stack from the CTs. This should be an absolute shutdown, and indeed it is. Tricked win the round without losing a single player. And I wonder if Heroic will start to think about taking a timeout soon, because sure, it's only a four round deficit, but that was a very, very one sided gun round. Heroic have got enough money to scrape together a buy into the subsequent round, and this time, no messing about from Heroic. They are instantly lining up this A sided execute. Acor is here to stop them with the AWP as well as Shush in towards Under Palace. Here come the nades. Ooh, not well timed though on the peak. Acor gets the kill before the smoke blooms. They don't clear this position either. Shush in from below nearly finds the follow up, but the flashbang is too good. Bomb dropped on towards the site. Two players left for Heroic, and Borup gets one straight through the smoke. NATO Safix is actually a really good player in clutches as an AWPer. He finds the angle. You don't see that angle used too often, but it's not good for the frag. Tricked come in for the cleanup. And a quick 5-0 lead for Tricked. Borup up there at the top of the scoreboard with 10 kills. But more importantly, none of these rounds have really come that close. Tricked have always had at least three players alive. And this slow start from Heroic is quite scary for them, because this tricked team are not one to sleep on. They've been an up-and-coming side within Europe for a long, long time now. And this lead is looking good. Ooh, a couple of different smokes in towards A. Not smoking off stairs, mainly focusing on jungle. Borup caught from behind. He didn't realize that that angle was open. Shush comes back with a couple of kills of his own, but the bomb plant seems incredibly likely at this point. There it is, Nato Safix gets the bomb down. 
Trix just did not seem ready for those slightly different smokes, and Stavin forces the fight, gives his team the man advantage. Trix have got kits in play, but they haven't really got the confidence that they can win this one. The smoke will be deployed to make sure they can save safely. Heroic, oh, just about getting away there. Shush survives on one point of health. And Heroic will finally be on the board. That was quite a strange round, though. Those two smokes going down towards jungle. I'm not sure if that's exactly what the plan was. But it worked out for Heroic because Borup just had his back turned. Completely in the open. Completely exposed from the players coming his way. Well, that was a much-needed round from Heroic just to get something going for themselves. Their first round is on the board. And Trix look to contend for this mid-control yet again. Kunden falls into underpass. Push coming in from Borup towards top mid. The flashbangs exchanged. It's Freiburg who will move forwards. And Heroic are mainly focused in on the B-bomb site. Bubski has been incredible for Tricked, but it's Freiburg to find two openings in towards mid. And as soon as he gets those initial frags, Heroic realize there's no need to risk pushing in towards B. They all decide to fall back. They hold into a default setup. Nice trade from Hunden, eventually dealing with Freiburg. But the damage is already done. Maybe not, though, because Shush has got another kill through for his team. Tricked equalized the numbers in a matter of seconds. And now this round is one that could really go either way. Hunden, not normally known as a massive fragger. He's been doing an okay job so far at the start of Mirage. But he may need assistance in on the A site. Nade starting to be used. No smokes left for the T side. And these orgs will happily hold the long range angles. Hunden finds one from the site itself. And Shush gets the follow up. There it is. Three kills from him. Bomb gets dropped. Stavin tries to trade. But he was already low on health. And Heroic will be losing another round. And that one has to be somewhat disappointing for Heroic when Freiburg gets those two opening kills. You would think that Heroic would get that round win the large majority of the time. They would have been delighted with the five on three position they had themselves in. But Heroic realize, or sorry, Tricks realize from the 3v5, they've got to take some risks. They've got to make some plays. They force the fights. And speaking of forcing the fights, Esetag gets the opening in towards mid. Acor with the AWP was trying to move forwards. He ends up getting denied completely. Ooh, Esetag in with the second. Hunden was hoping to assist Borup there, but he ends up being alone in on the fight. And this time, surely Heroic can close out this five on three. They've got the mid control. They've got every advantage they could want. And again, this is where Tricked realize they need to take some sort of gamble. They decide to take the risk on stacking the B site. And this is the kind of call that I think Hunden's really good at making. He realizes that if they just spread across the map with only three men left alive, they're really unlikely to win the round. But if they stack the B site, they can either compete for the round win or maybe even get the chance to just save the guns. Either is available. And it looks like the B play is actually going to come through for Heroic here. 25 seconds left on the clock, and there goes Shush. Solid as ever. His 10th kill on the board, but Heroic have figured this one out. The bomb is going to reposition over towards the A site, Looks like Heroic found the information they needed. And at this point, Tricked will be calling for the save. Maybe not. The bomb drops. The bomb got dropped. How did that happen? The round is won. What the hell was that? They must have planted in the open. 
Bork just denies the bomb plant all the way over from short. That is ridiculous. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. All Heroic needed to do was plant the bomb safely on the A site. Clearly, they must not have been aware of that. They must have planted in the open, exposed from connector, exposed from short. Oh my goodness. I mean, I wish Auto Director would have showed us the action, but hey, tricked somehow win the round. I cannot believe that. That is, that's just unacceptable. I mean, into round number nine, Heroic have got to be feeling the pressure now. I guess they weren't sure that Tricked were maybe pushed in Palace, were maybe sitting in CT. They weren't 100% sure where all the Tricked players were, so they decided to just plant in the open, plant for short maybe, but that did not go their way. I mean, we also didn't get to see the exact timings. Maybe the bomb planter was in a position where he had to plant in the open, but I think Heroic had time to get that bomb into a, a safer position on the site. Very surprising stuff. There's also the, uh, the opportunity maybe that Heroic were thinking about the fact that they were going to have to play in on that post plant, that maybe Tricked would attempt the retake. So they wanted to plant in the open just to have the best angle for the bomb. Anyway, let's not talk about that previous round. Let's look at this next one. No early frags in round number nine. Again, though, look at the money for Tricked. If Heroic just win this one round, they should be able to cause plenty of issues for the Tricked buy. Molotov goes into the corner. Two players in Underwood, but the kills come through. Hunden also goes down, and Heroic are finally finding some form here. Bubski gets one through the smoke, but I doubt it will lead to anything. At this point, he has to try to save the org. Ooh, nice little angle. Looking at the flower pot. I don't know if that gives him extra cover. Maybe it does. Either way... He is going to look to pick up the orb, which will be allowed. And again, Tricked's money will be pretty poor here. They should be getting maybe $1,400 on each player, if I'm not mistaken. It definitely won't be too much money. Yeah, $1,400 on each player, which... Is just not going to give them enough cash to really get a good buy together. I think Tricks are in a position where one save would be enough for them to be able to buy into the next round. So I think that's what I'd expect to see from the Tricks side into this one. We're going to see one flashbang bought by Hunden. They might just take some sort of risk in this round, some sort of mid-aggression could potentially be on the cards. We will take a look at the odds over at GG Bet. And again, Heroic are starting to come back into this one now. You would expect them to start to be able to get some rounds on the board now that they are finally finding some success on their T side. And yes, Hunden's got the flashbang towards mid. This is what I was expecting. The flash will be deployed as soon as Tricked think that the mid control is in play. And then they will attempt to catch a man in the open. I don't know how likely that is to work though. Heroic are playing it really, really safe towards mid. And just looking at the scoreboard, one of the problems for Heroic has kind of been the fact that 
some of those star players haven't really showed up. Normally, you'd expect... I mean, Blameth as the in-game leader now still frags pretty well most of the time, and you can see that there. Snappy aim on towards Bubski. The AWP gets dropped, and Tricked have tried to stack over towards B, but Acorp taking significant damage. As I was saying, though, you'd probably expect guys like Nato Safix, guys like Stabin, to be some of the star players for this side, to be able to put up some good numbers. Right now, that has not been happening. And Heroic are going back towards B. Freiburg has got to be careful here. Timing is going to be important. Ooh, clears the corner and gets back to safety in time. Kunden will also go down. The AWP will be recovered, but Freiburg finally puts down by Borup. Two guns in play for Tricked. Make that one gun. Acor loses the Battle of the Orpers. And I think at this point it's all about just recovering that AWP and trying to save it for the next round. Sadly, that may not be allowed because Blame F is in position. Borup just jumps right past him, though. The absolute speed demon will be getting away safely. Heroic are all trying to hunt him down, but he is all the way over on the other side of the map. And I think he will be good to go here. Yeah, Borup will be able to carry over the AWP into the next round. And that was fairly important because the money wasn't exactly great for Tricked. They may not have been able to buy the AWP if they didn't save that one through. So Acor will have the opportunity to do a bit more damage with the sniper in his hands. Another timeout taken over on the heroic side. I was kind of expecting a few more enemies flashed, if I'm being honest. I guess in some of these rounds, heroic have just mainly gone for the contact plays or just the smoke executes. The flashbangs haven't maybe been as successful as you would think. Freiburg's been doing a good job, though, in terms of the flash bangs. I don't think we've really seen any flash assists, either. Also, for this tricked team, I was expecting Bubski to be the real standout player, because he has been really, really good in the last few months. But Borup is another star player for this tricked side. He's been performing really well. You also have to remember that Bubski is playing on this B site of Mirage, which sometimes doesn't get as involved in the action. I think that's part of the reason why he's not putting up as massive numbers as you might expect. Full gun round for both teams into round 11. Acor just scoped in. They'll know that AWP is in connector, and Blame F strikes from behind. Borup completely caught off guard by that one. Heroic find a free opening into round number 11. And you can see the response from Tricked is that they have to watch towards window. That leaves the A hold much more awkward here in round number 11. They've got so many angles to watch towards, but Hunden rotates over just in time. Acor in with one kill of his own. The counter flashes come through to try to slow things down, but NATO Safix will just wait patiently. Good patience here from Heroic, just sitting back, waiting for Tricked to take the fights towards them. And Bobski will try to rotate over, but that is not going to be allowed. Again, Heroic just waits for the CTs to peek in towards them. Hunden attempts to move forwards, but Essatag puts him down. Heroic find a fourth round win. And if you have just joined us, it was a really strong start here for Tricked. Over on Heroic's map pick as well. But finally, we are seeing some success from Heroic. They are stringing these rounds together. And again, Tricked will be forced down to a low bite. Looking good for Heroic to get themselves a few more rounds on the board towards the end of this half.
And you do sometimes see the favourites in these qualifiers get off to the slow start. It's not crazy to see teams go a bit behind early on. Just because Tricked will be really 100% all in on this qualifier, right? They will be absolutely prepared. They will be working their asses off for this one. And I'm not saying that Heroic won't be. It's more just that sometimes it, it takes a little bit of time to get into the game. Now, though, Heroic are really looking good. Here comes the buy for both teams. Again, Acor has the AWP in his hands. Neither of those AWPers have had massive impact on the game, though. We haven't really seen too many opening fights from the AWPs either, but this time, Acor picks up the opening. Flame F in towards mid is going to be traded out. And Hunden, having given his team the man advantage, will happily fall back to safety. Ooh, I did not expect Freiburg to be moving forwards, but Shush finds the fight on towards him. Freiburg goes down on a solo play. No one there to try to trade him out. And it's up to Staven and Nato Safix, the two newest additions for this heroic roster, to try to pull off some heroics if they want to win this round. Nato scopes in. Again, just trying to find an angle towards B, but Tricked are playing this one really safe. Staven over towards Connector might have a slightly better chance to find an opening, but it goes against him. Shush holding the angle. Makes sure that Tricked retain a big, big lead in terms of numbers. And I was saying earlier that Nato Safix is surprisingly good in the clutches as an AWPer. This time, there's nothing for him to do, though. A 1v4 is never going to be easy. And Tricked trade him out of the round. I think as long as Heroic gets six or seven rounds on the board here, they shouldn't be in such a bad spot. They shouldn't be too worried, especially after they had a really, really slow start. And Heroic have generally been playing these rounds pretty slow. This is going to be a bit of a switch up, all grouping up towards B at the start of the round. The rotate not coming in towards B just yet. Borat will be on towards short, but it's Bubski holding the site itself. Nades exchanged in towards the apartments. Little damage done, and Bubski is going to go down. Those smokes towards short causing issues as Essatag picks up a second entry with the SG. He's probably been the best fragger for Heroic so far in this game, and he's proving it there with so much entry work. Those two kills alone effectively win Heroic the round. And I really like what Essatag offers to this Heroic side. I feel like he's such a versatile player for this Heroic squad. And that's probably part of the reason why he's stuck around in this lineup for so long. Ooh, nice shots from Acor on the exits. I think... This man, no. Acor gets another kill through. Shush finds a follow-up exit frag. Again, Heroic will have plenty of money into the last round of the half, so that won't be a massive problem. But at least Acor showing some individual skill there. And as I was saying, S Attack has been in this Heroic roster for such a long time. He actually recently just passed over his two-year mark in this heroic lineup, which is really, really cool to see. And at times, he's had to try and be the star player. He's done that pretty successfully. Sometimes he's had to be much more of a supportive player, and he's been willing to take on that role for the team. Definitely deserves some credit for what he offers to heroic. Started this round. Heroic taking some more early aggression. Molotov forces Borup away, but they don't know that Hunden is waiting 
close by. Luckily, Heroic will be falling back, but Bubski about to spot the man in from behind. Flame F caught with his pants down. Did not have any idea what hit him. Freiburg alongside NATO Safix will look to stick together in this clutch. Couple of flashes over towards B, but Bubski is about to spot the bomb in from behind. And again, NATO Safix has kind of struggled to get involved with the AWP. You can see on his stat line, six kills, eight deaths. It's not that he's been missing the shots. It's that he hasn't really been able to get too many fights with the AWP. And at the end of the half, Tricked will take a 9-6 lead on their CT side. All in all, I think both teams will be okay with the positions they are in. But I definitely think Tricked will be the happier of the two teams with the overall scoreline. At the same time, though, with Heroic having such a bad start, they will be fine with how they've recovered, and they will look to carry things through onto the second half. Definitely expecting Tricked to have quite a structured T side here on Mirage. That's normally what Hunden offers for the team. We're already going to see the nades in towards A. Borup will be attempting to sell this fake, and the rotation is starting to come through. Borup will be dealt with, though, and there are still two CTs in on the B site. The fake not working well enough. Blame F sitting in the back lines, dealing the damage. Blame F hungry for more. It's all on Bubski, and he will not be able to do anything about it. Good awareness there from Heroic that... That A play may just be a fake. I think the man in CT playing so aggressive is really what gives Heroic the information there. Because he spotted that it was only Borup in A ramp. As soon as they killed the first man, Heroic realized that there was no one else moving towards A. So they could call off that rotate. They could make sure the B players were ready to hold. And Tricked will only have the one Desert Eagle into this one. Ooh, God, Bubski trying to find this. Not really working out for him, though. Shush got one kill with the Glock, so an all goes into his hands. There we go. Shush gets a second kill, but Freiburg goes for the jumping MP9 kill. Always fun to be moving about with those SMGs. You can remain accurate. And here we head into round 18 with a full buy for both sides. Not exactly the best weaponry for Heroic, though. NATO Safix is only going to get the Scout. Not able to afford a premium rifle. Whereas Tricks have gone for the full AKs and the one SG into the hands of Acor. Quick mid-aggression and Stavin is denied everything in this round. Essatag finds the trade, so it's not too bad. In fact, Essatag gets a second through the smoke. I believe Borup was firing away there. So Essatag knew exactly where to trace him through the smoke. And... Even though tricked take mid control, it costs them the early man advantage. You can see Acor using the SG somewhat similar to how he might use the AWP. Holding some long range angles, looking to be in the back lines, but... The SG also has the ability to get up close, and that's what he will begin to do over towards A. S attack in an unexpected angle, doesn't get cleared, but Acor is good for the trade. NATO Safix with a nice shot in on towards the scout. Holds on towards A, heroic tie up the scoreline. And this is much more of what we were expecting from this game. We can take another look at those odds. And yes, it is Heroic who are now pretty heavily favoured for Mirage. With it being an even scoreline, with it being Heroic's map pick, and with Heroic having the advantage in terms of the money, you've got to think that Heroic are favourites for this one at this point. Well, 
Flame F will be able to win the opening fight. Shush will simply be a spectator in round number 19. Again, Trickta just hoping to land some shots with the Desert Eagles, but Stavent will be playing it safe. Standard setup here from Heroic, just making sure they hold some fairly long range angles so that they can't get caught off guard up close and literally zero damage has been done so far. Stavent struggling slightly, but eventually all the kills come through. Heroic win the round without any difficulties. And this is where we need to see some nice strategies called by Hunden. Tricked have lost the first four rounds of their T side without putting up too much of a fight. Again, we will see orps on towards both teams. Normally, you would expect the orpers on Mirage to be able to have quite a lot of freedom. That's not really been the case for either of these orpers so far. They haven't been too integral in any of these rounds. Early top mid smoke from Heroic will deny Tricked any early mid control, but Hunden's about to move forwards. Fights go down over towards mid. Acor looking to trade this one out, and he gets the kill in on a tight angle. Flame F thought that he could fall back into connector. Acor denies him, and so Tricked will take the man advantage. Aggression from Freiburg is so well timed. Bubski was jumping up on towards the little countertop there and it ends up costing him his life. Freiburg equalizes the numbers. But you can see that Tricked wants revenge for their fallen teammate. They are starting to move into the B side of the map. Elsewhere, Staven's pushing in towards top mid. Freiburg is also watching the flank rather than the B site itself. Finally, though, he will move into position. And here we go. Tricked about to explode onto this B site. As soon as they spot Freiburg, they will move forwards. Freiburg holding the angle. Unexpected angle. Freiburg finds two. And Acor has got to try to win this with the AWP. Holding this one off, but the bomb has to be planted. Smoke goes down. Acor hungry for blood, but NATO Safix is playing it so safe. Ten seconds left, and Acor has to plant the bomb. Nade goes in towards him. Flank is coming through. Acor will be caught from behind. Nice work there by Heroic to remain in control of the round. Good work from Freiburg as well. Just finding an unexpected position towards B. He had to make sure he got at least one kill. But finding those two frags leaves his team in a much, much better position. And again, Heroic are starting to run away with this one now. If you have just joined us, this is the map pick of Heroic. And they have been putting in work on their CT side. The first five rounds in a row go their way. And Tricked are taking a page out of Furia's book by the looks of things. Going for three SGs into round 21. They may not be able to afford the sniper rifle. But they've got the scoped rifle in the SG. And Shush will put it to use. Essatag not expecting the player to be in that position ends up losing his life did a little bit of damage on the palace aggression but again tricked take the early man advantage we've been here before though we've had tricked with the lead previously on their t side and they haven't been able to close out the round win let's see if that can change this time around Flame F has positioned himself in towards Palace, so that's a little bit more information for the CT side to work with. And then just holding this angle, Flashbang forces him off the position. Plenty of nades left for Tricked to play with, but the time is starting to become a factor, with 40 seconds left on the clock. 
Trit will have to make up their minds sooner rather than later. And Freiburg will be forced to anchor this B site. Good kill on the first. He's got more players to deal with, though. Freiburg in with another. Trade eventually comes into play, but Staven has rotated over. This is his chance to step up, but it doesn't happen for him. Hunden swings out wide, nails the headshot, and Nato Safix will be denied the angle due to the flashbang. Tricks get the bomb down in an advantageous position. And while Heroic are sticking around near the B site, they don't seem too ready to go for this one. The heroic money isn't exactly great, so saving these two rifles could be important to make sure they've got enough money for the next round. That shot from Hunden, though. Really nice stuff. Not normally what you expect to come out from him, but he gets a couple of important kills in round 21 to give Trix their first T-round win. Taking a quick look at some of the stats so far, just in terms of opening fights, for example, Esetag has been oftentimes forced into playing that entry role, but I think he's happy enough playing it. And he's been doing a pretty good job so far in those opening duels. He's won six opening fights, only died in four of them. Definitely feels like he's been having a lot of impact for his team, but damage done onto Blame F. He's down to 15 points of health. I'm not sure he even saw an opponent there, so he won't be too happy about that. By the way, another point I'd quickly like to make is that NATO Suffix has literally not been involved in any opening fights with his orb. I think that's a, a really telling tale of how his AWP has kind of struggled to get involved here on Mirage. He's just not really been able to position himself in those spots to get involved in a lot of the early action. And again, Trix will take a slow round into round 22. We've seen this very often from this Trix side. They generally like to take these slow rounds. Look at this CT setup, though. In towards Under Palace, Blame F is incredibly low on health, so he goes into the same spot as Esetag, and it's very, very uncommon to have two players here, so Trix might not expect Blame F to be sitting in that corner. That's the idea here for Heroic. Let's see if it works. There's the opening kill. Boric does clear the left-hand side. Second frag found, but Nato Safix only gets one kill. Oh, the bomb's up on the box. They need to get the bomb back. Finally, Bubsky finds it, but Staven moving in from CT will go down. Freiburg has it all to do, and Bubsky nails the headshot on towards him. We are all tied up. And Heroic's money is in the bin. They're going to have to save here unless they want to take a massive risk. And Tricked will take a timeout of their own. Perhaps trying to figure out exactly what the money will be like on the Heroic side. Well, maybe Tricks are still on to try to steal away their opponent's map pick. I mean, you look at Tricks' results on Mirage. They've had some okay victories. They've been able to beat Sprout back at Copenhagen Games. They were able to beat Windstrike, Aristocracy, some okay teams. But at the same time, you would expect Heroic to be a slightly higher level of competition. And right now, Tricks are really proving themselves to be a threat in this European minor closed qualifier. Esetag, nice shot with the Desert Eagle. Again, he has been the standout player for Heroic so far, and he gets an SG into his hands. Could that be the start of something special for Heroic in this round?
Ooh, Essatag doing the damage through the smoke. Acor down to six points of health, and the quick B aggression is ready to come through. Bubski gets the refrag. Flank not good enough. Bubski turns it around on towards Stavon. And Essatag is not going to be able to rotate in towards B in time. Hunden will be getting that bomb planted. And at this point, you've got to think the round is all but over. Even though two of the tricked players are so low on health, Heroic shouldn't really have anything available. Easy kill for Borat. And Tricked will regain the lead here in round 23. Again, there are eight spots available in this qualifier. So the loser of this game isn't out by any means. But it just makes it much more difficult having to come back through that lower bracket. And another point we have to make is that the second map of this series will be Dust 2, which is one that Heroic very rarely play. They've only played it twice, but at the same time, Heroic have won the map both times they have played it against Sprout and FaZe, so that's got to count for something. Nato Sapphic's early aggression finally gets involved in those early fights. That's what I wanted to see more of. Nato Sapphic showing some confidence to take the play in towards mid, and Heroic will gain the early man advantage. And you would expect Nato Sapphic to be able to get the better of Acor in most of these orc fights. exactly what comes through into round 24. Borup is sitting up close in towards Connector. He just took a shot, so Heroic know that he is close by. Borup goes through the smoke straight into the open arms of Blame F. Man's got some big arms as well. Puts him in a chokehold and gets the second kill through for Heroic. Great flashbang. Hunden is done for. The bomb dropped in Connector. And this round has just fallen apart for Tricked. They don't get any opportunities to trade out the frags. It was just individual plays being made by Tricked. I think the main problem was just that push into Connector. They maybe needed the two players to push together as Blame F closes it out with a quad kill. Good work from him in on the stairs. And again, Heroic even up the scoreline. This game is getting closer by the round between these two Danish squads. And Freiburg from Sweden, who's just kind of on the server. Just, just chilling. I mean, I do keep saying, I feel like Freiburg is basically part Danish at this point. I mean, come on. Looking down the list for Tricked. I mean, again, the, the problem Tricked are always going to have is Hunden obviously isn't the best fragger. But at the same time, the rest of the team ha have really been stepping up recently. You've had guys like Borup and Bubski doing massive damage. Shush has actually been a really surprising addition for me. Because I don't think Shush is the kind of player that has some crazy aim he's been more of a, a positional and supportive player but he's been able to do quite a lot of work for this team so it's been really cool to see this tricks team evolve over time let's see if they can cause the upset here against heroic couple of early nades bubski down to 38 points of health essa tag in with the aggressive angle they're not going to expect this the bomb gets dropped Orp was there behind him, but Borup must have this trade every single time. Essatag has no support whatsoever in towards mid. He was just completely alone there, so at least he gets the one kill. But the one-for-one one trade should favour the T's until Blame F gives his team the advantage. Bobski was hoping that the boost would be able to get him in the back lines. Instead, it's Blame F who meets him. 
Freiburg gets aggressive through B at just the right time. He's been really good at pushing through B apartments, at just finding that one frag for the team. And Heroic gets kill after kill to go their way. Borup is going to need an ace to win this one. And, ooh, drops down. Doesn't even have the bomb. I doubt he'll win this one. It would be worth getting a kill or two here, though, as, oh God, damage done. He dies from CT. It's a team ace from Heroic. They will take the lead. And what will Tricked buy? Well, there's your answer. I was going to say, they probably will be buying up into this one. They can afford two AKs at least. Okay, my question is, will Hunden stick with the AK? Or will he drop it to a teammate? Okay, Hunden sticking with it. He's got the spawn for mid. I guess this allows one of his teammates to pick it up if he goes down early as well. Hunden's actually just going to be alone in this mid position, trying to draw the attention. In the meantime, Bubski thinks about pushing towards B, but the Molotov will slow things down. Nice couple of nades as Bubski continues to try to take control of the B apartments. Molotov will be there to counter him, and in comes the opening. Stavin fully blind, but they don't clear the left side. Surely they knew there was a man on short. They don't look his way, though, and Freiburg finds his second frag on the hold. Only Acor left alive. And again, he's just waiting to see if Freiburg will peek towards him, but Freiburg will be playing it safe. Smoke is there to keep him alive even longer. Acor's desperately looking for something. There were AKs bought by the T side. They must be dropped on the floor, but Acor can't find them. They must know he's on the site. They've cleared the apartments. Oh, nice shot, Acorp. Freiburg will eventually find the trade. Heroic up to a 14-12 lead. And remember, that was a full investment from Tricked. This time around, they won't have the same luxury. Only pistols in play for the Tricked side into round number 27. And unless they can pull out something incredible here... It looks incredibly likely that Heroic will have the chance to close out Mirage. A little bit of damage done through the smoke. A execute coming into play. Let's see what heroic have to say about that aggression comes through the smoke they've got the stack they've got the nades oh this is a real problem for tricks they cannot move forwards the smokes are going to fade and again the fights just keep on going the way of heroic it is going to be map point for heroic here on mirage it was such a good start for tricked they came out to an early 7-1 lead on their ct side but Heroic have done a solid job at making sure that this game doesn't get too far out of hand. And it's looking more and more likely that Heroic will be winning their own map choice. We've got a gun round for Tricked though, so don't count them out just yet. Acor has the AWP. Full rifles for the rest of the squad. Full nades across the entirety of the team as well. Again, Bubski takes some early damage from that nade towards B. We've seen that round after round. And oh, okay, Bubski doing a little bit of damage there. For a second, I thought he might be able to find the frag. But Stavin just goes down to half health. There we go, Freiburg again finds the opening over towards B. It feels like in almost every round, Freiburg has got aggressive. He's been able to get the opening for his team. Acor lands the shot, but not the frag. Blame F gets away. Eventually, Borup gets the refrag on towards him, but Tricked only have the mid control to work with. Both smokes used by Tricked. They will look to boost in towards window. A lot of pressure on Hunden here to make something happen. He is the man in the best position. 
Shush begins to move forwards, but again, Freiburg has got so much ground towards B. This time, though, it will be the B short play that we need to worry about. Staven here to hold this one off. 22 seconds left on the clock, and Tricked will continue to creep onto the B bomb site. Borup is moving forward. Staven hasn't got the angle to work with. Staven moving around. Bomb will be denied. Seven seconds and there's no time left. Shush will not get the bomb down in time. It's all over. Heroic have done enough. They take their own map 16-12. A pretty hard fought map for them. But at the end of the day, they remain in control. Their CT side comes through. And Tricked will have to play for the last two maps in this series. It's going to be Dust 2 up next. Make sure to stick around to see if Heroic can close it out or if Tricked can take us to a third and final map. We will be right back after the break. Charge up your game with excitement. Highest odds on the market. Coverage of all live and pre-match events. Place your bets with Solid Bookmaker and win with your favorite teams. Take what's rightfully yours with GG.com.